Hey guys, Frozen Nexus here, and today I'm going to show you how to really uh, turn off dogs, more or less make them friendly, because you can't turn off dogs without turning off all the zombies. As you can see, here's a zombie. I did not spawn her, and here comes a dog, actually. I'm going to kill her so I can show you this, but basically, yeah, these dogs could literally care less about you. You could shoot them in the head if you want, you just keep moving. This guy's just running around, he's just happy to be alive. If you shoot them, they just kind of stand still for a second, then they move on their way. They don't track you or anything. They're pretty much interested in other things. Uh, the whole reason I did this is because if you've ever been into the Wasteland and Alpha 15, you know it is absurdly difficult to get anywhere because of the dogs. It's just annoying. I honestly don't like having the dogs in the game. and. Uh, yeah, I feel like they don't really add a difficulty for the Horde Knights, which, I mean, you know, that's the whole point of the game. If uh, they really did something on Horde Knights, I'd keep them in, but if they're not actually... Oh, it's a landmine. If they're not actually going to, uh, like, serve a purpose other than to be a major nuisance whenever I'm trying to find my base on day one... Then I'm I'm not keeping them in the game because all they really like I said all they really did was on day one when I'm just trying to find somewhere to set up, they're just all there around running around like idiots and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm not you know not really too interested in it. But as you can see, there's another zombie. Uh, a lot of the zombies in this area are dead because right over here is our old prison base. As you can see, I can just walk right up to this guy. He doesn't give two shits about me. Um, they might actually follow you if you get too close to him, yeah, but he's not going to attack me because I turned off their attacks. My god, it's like trying to shoot zombies in Daisy now. Sit still so I can kill you, damn it. But yeah, um, clearly zombies are still on. Uh, there's not many in this area because we have, uh, we set up a base in this area before and a lot of the zombies in the area have been killed as a result. But yeah, there's the uh, base that we used to have, so if you were watching our old uh, playthrough, that's, uh, that's, that's the old prison. Ah oh, man, I miss this place. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this, so I'll see you back at my desktop. Alright, hey guys, first and X's, and uh, I don't know why I said my name again. This is not the start of a video, but whatever. So here is the zombie dog entity and if you don't know where this is it's an entity classes xml if you don't know how to get into the entity classes xml file go watch my first video and i explain how to open up these files uh, even in the second video i explain how the files are opened and uh, you need notepad plus plus and things like that I'm not going to re-explain it every video so it's really simple basically you come down here and you can see set entity as target, set entity as target, set corpse as target. Basically, all you do is you find entity and PC, hit control C. Honestly, you could make it entity anything like you could really make the dogs attack wildlife if you wanted. You could make it attack bears, you know. You could put whatever you wanted here, but I'm just putting entity and PC because then they won't attack anything and you just go through and everywhere it says entity player just put entity and PC and you're done uh, now I just want to talk for a second about why you can't just highlight and delete this entire section and I'm gonna be honest I'm not exactly 100 percent sure why that doesn't work it stops all zombies from spawning but my best theory is that zombies spawn in a formula and when parts of the formula are cut out and they can't spawn that uh, the dogs anymore it causes an error because when I did delete this I was getting spammed with errors so like not game breaking errors I could still play the game but just without zombies so my uh, my theory is that the zombies are spawned systematically and they need to spawn a certain amount of them and if a certain amount can't be spawned, it decides to spawn none of them and restart the systematic spawning again. So you can't really get rid of dogs without getting anything down or getting rid of anything. So yeah, and any NPC. Uh, however, uh, these guys will still track onto you, as you saw if you get really close to them, uh, because they don't. They. Th it's hard to explain, but they'll track you they're confused basically they can't find anything else to track and 
in a sense you are considered an NPC but no you're not it's weird how that works but yeah uh, so if they are tracking you they will still uh, attack doors and break blocks and whatnot so you know honestly on horde nights it's not really changing anything you'll still get the same amount of zombie invaders but this time you at least won't have to deal with fucking zombies or zombie dogs trying to kill you before you can even get to your base I personally find that annoying I I don't know about you guys I just really hate that um, it's it's see if the zombie dogs didn't spawn till day five in the wasteland like everywhere else I'd be completely fine with it but if you spawn in a wasteland you get killed basically instantly by a zombie dog and there goes ten of your wellness and you know if you need to walk through a wasteland and you die ten more wellness it's just very annoying and I think they're quite uh, quite bad you know and the how dangerous the wasteland is already is plenty fine there's landmines everywhere chance of you stepping on one is pretty high actually so that's why I've probably uh, decided to turn this off I know a lot of other people have been looking for a way to turn off zombie dogs and unfortunately no I can't show you how to turn them off entirely but they're still going to be there but they're not going to be any harm to you if uh, at when the day becomes day five and you want zombie dogs to be a real issue again you can just just uh, control Z everything you've done yep whoops gonna do that but uh, yeah I'm going to go ahead and put it back to the way it was so uh, yeah I'll see you back in the game once I've uh, reset everything again all right guys I'm back just give me one second to set time to a period in which you can actually see it's time set you jack wagon what am I typing wrong here oh it is set time I just didn't use two T's to there we go and now you guys should be able to see better and I'll turn my flashlight on anyway cause the fucking YouTube makes everything a hundred times darker than it is before don't ask me why just YouTube is stupid they've been deleting my subscribers recently which is just kind of annoying but whatever it's, it's an arbitrary number anyway um, spawn entity Ah, what number are they they are 19 alright spawn entity Oh god, you learn how to use a keyboard, Brad. Frozen. Nexus. 19. God damn it, I typed it in wrong anyway. Frozen. Nexus. 19. There we go. And yeah, so as you can see, this dog, um, he'll attack me. He'll follow me around if I run over here. He's gonna come with me. No, he's not? Yeah, okay, I guess they just run their tracking algorithm once and then decide they're not going to care. Let's see if I shoot them. <laughs> it's like ice skating. It's very difficult to hit. I'm trying not to hit him in the head either. There we go. I hit him. Yeah, even that doesn't draw his attention. So, I guess I'm wrong. I guess dogs aren't going to track you at all. I think you would have to get very close to them. Yeah, see, now that he's at least saw me, he's looking at me. And if I just keep running, he'll follow me. Yeah, so they're very buggy like this, but honestly, they don't do any damage. And I wouldn't leave this on forever. I mean, because it just seems kind of cheap, but I would leave it on for like the first five days or until you found your base where you're going to set up. So, you know, that's just my theory on it. You guys don't have to listen to me, obviously. But, yeah, that's really it for this video. Uh, again, like I said in the last video, if there's any mods you want me to make or show, uh, just let me know kind of running out of ideas here I'm just kind of going through reddit and looking at what people think or what people are saying like oh it would be cool if we could do this and I'm like okay I'll go do that so yeah uh, yeah so any ideas are appreciated and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you learned something and uh, yeah I hope to see you back in the next one peace out and have a great day